Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be starting in my new recollections planner. This will be my new planner from July 2020 through June 2021 and I purchased this at Michael's. This is the only one that had a vertical neutral layout which is what I was looking for so um, I did choose to go with this cover and I'm going to really quickly walk you guys through what is included in this planner and what it looks like just so you guys have an idea of what I'm going to be working with. Um, so so at the front of the planner is this little plastic pouch and then we have kind of like this title page. I haven't put my name in yet, but I will do that. I think I might have a sticker that I could put in, but I'll have to look for it. And then um, it starts with kind of a yearly view. So we have January 2020 all the way through December 2021 for this little yearly. I don't really use these very often. I tend to just flip to the monthly if I need to look up anything. Um, the planner also comes with these black and white stickers, um, lots of different ones for like functional planning and kind of decorative planning as well and icons, emojis. And then before the monthly section begins, we have this little pocket here and I think it's on both sides like so. I don't know if I'm going to be using that at all. And then we jump into the monthly. So this is what the monthly spread looks like. This is July, 2020. And I would say it's very similar to an Erin Condren, um, as in like there's this top bar right here. I think the only difference is that the sidebar for the monthly on the Erin Condren is on the right-hand side instead of the left-hand side. But I honestly don't use these monthly spreads at all. So it really doesn't, um, really doesn't affect me. And then jumping into the weekly i have a little sticky here that tells me which kit i'm going to be using so ignore that but this is what the weekly layout looks like um, for this vertical neutral format we've got the sidebar here on the left hand side which is very similar to the erin condren and also a space for the bottom washi and yeah i really like this format i feel like um, it's obviously very functional for me i've been using something so similar for a long time and this was definitely the closest um, planner to the Erin Condren that I could find. The only issue I have with this planner is that the color of the paper does not match the color of my whiteout. And so if I make a mistake or if I just want to white out like, um, you know, any of these like lines, it's going to be very obvious because it's not the same color. I have been thinking of getting a few different whiteouts to try out just to see if there's one that would match well. Um, but that so far is really my biggest complaint. Otherwise, I think it's a pretty solid dupe for the Erin Condren and I'm pretty excited about using it. The only other thing I wanted to share is that at the end, um, oh, this is an 18 month planner. So it does go through December, 2021. I don't need it for that long. I just need it until June. And so I'm going to be cutting out all these extra pages at the end um, because I don't want it to bulk up my planner. So I'm going to be doing that later. And then at the very end, we have a notes section where we have these lined pages. And okay, you can kind of see, this is where I had done a little whiteout test. Um, it's not as obvious on camera as it is in person, but you can still kind of see where the white outline is. Um, so that's what I mean by it being a different color. So um, I don't know. It does bother me, but I'm trying to let it go. I'm trying to be zen about it. And then um, I think that's it for the planner, I believe. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Uh-oh. There's a bug on this last page. Ah! I'm going to tear it out. I honestly hate bugs. I don't know what the heck's going on. Okay. Whew. I'm like kind of panicking right now, but I'm okay. Got rid of it. Okay. Anyways, um, that is it for the planner walkthrough. I'm sorry. I'm like so frazzled right now. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and jump in to the first spread that I'm going to be doing in this planner. It's going to be for the 4th of July week. The kit that I'm going to be using is this one from Pink Popsicle Studio. It's very patriotic and very red, white, and blue, as you can see. Um, and I just thought this was so perfect for the 4th of July. And so here we have all the full boxes and a few little things down here at the bottom with a little decorative icon. We've got the glitter headers, the headers, date covers, work stickers, which I'm not going to need because I'm on summer break right now and I'm not working. And then we have little things here at the bottom. Um, on here, we have the half boxes and quarter boxes, a water tracker, which I generally don't use because I don't track water intake. We have bill due stickers and then sidebar trackers for medication and then also a blank one. 
On here, we have some star checklists, which are so perfect for this patriotic theme. And then we have a Monday through Sunday box here. On this last page, we have the bottom washi. We've got some headers here and, oh, I think it's backwards, a weekend banner, some day off payday stickers, and then these really cute deco pieces here in the corner, as well as some like little functional icons. Um, so this kit definitely comes with quite a bit of stickers to use. I've never used a kit from her shop before. This is my first time. So I'm pretty excited to try out her format. I think it's always so fun getting to try out different formats from new shops. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this new planner. I'm super stoked to see how this is going to turn out. Um, I hope it's going to be good. If you're interested in joining, then stay tuned. I noticed that the bottom washi section on the Recollections Planner is a little bit thinner than the Erin Condren, so I did have to trim down the bottom washi a bit so that it would fit nicely in that section. And once I go ahead and finish both sides, I then move on to my sidebar. For my first sidebar in this planner, I decided to leave the July 2020 writing at the top. Um, I love how every part of this planner is neutral, so it doesn't have any colors that don't match my kit, like the huge Erin Condren hexagon in the corner that I pretty much had to white out every single week um, so that is something that I appreciate about this planner and then I placed down a full box underneath that I found this blue glitter washi in my washi stash and I believe I got this so long ago probably when I first started planning I just purchased like a little sampler of it and I still had that left over so I go ahead and cut that into a header and then underneath that I used a habit tracker for my working out then I placed down a little things with this heart checklist that I found in my leftover stash and then I tried to place down the Monday through Sunday box at the very bottom but it didn't fit so I ended up trimming down the habit tracker just a little bit and then I scooted everything up so that I could fit that box at the bottom and that worked out really nicely. I then moved back to the top of my sidebar and placed down a few deco pieces just to jazz up that space a little bit and then I placed down all the date covers. I initially wanted to write in the dates myself, but I ended up realizing I wrote the wrong dates. Um, I think Monday was supposed to be the 29th, but I had written the 28th, so I ended up having to pull in some date dots and I think these ones are from Nikki Plus 3. Moving back to my sidebar, I used a workout script sticker from Right Brain Paper Co. for my workout, and then I pulled in this gold foiled heart from Hazel sticker to mark my happy moments. At the very bottom, I pulled in this dinner script sticker from Planner Just For You, and that is in my writing. Now that I'm done with the sidebar, I go ahead and move to Monday. I started by placing down a today header with a third box. That suitcase sticker is from Sticker Blush and I use that to mark that I finished packing that morning before we headed out to Vegas on a little getaway. And um, to mark the road trip, it's about a four hour drive. Um, I pulled in this car sticker, which is also from Sticker Blush. I felt like her red icons worked really nicely with the colors in this kit. And the brush lettering pen that I'm using is from Pilot. I then used a half box with this house sticker from Right Brain Paper Co. to mark that we checked into our hotel. We were staying at the Venetian, which is really nice. They were having this amazing buy one night, get one free deal. So we were able to stay two nights at the hotel for like $110 or something. So it was just such a good deal. We ended up just deciding to go. After checking in, we went and visited the gardens at the Bellagio Hotel. Um, initially, I had placed down some flower deco pieces, but I realized they took up too much space. And so I ended up replacing it for this other deco piece instead. Underneath that, I used a full box and I pulled in this Korean food sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark where we went for dinner. Um, we did a little shopping before that and then we grabbed dinner with some friends who were also in Vegas at the same time. And I had messed up when I was trying to write the restaurant name. Um, I accidentally tried to write an E instead of a U at the end. So I tried to fix that as best as I could. And then at the very bottom, I used a drink sticker from Happy Sherpa Paper Wee to mark that we got some drinks at the end of the night and just kind of chilled out in our hotel room for the remainder of the night. Then moving to Tuesday, I first placed down another strip of the glitter header and I did trim it with my slice precision cutter, which was a little hard because that washi is so thick. And then um, I placed down a pool day sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams to mark that we went to the pool that day. I didn't get in the water or anything because I didn't want to be close to people. So I just kind of stayed on my little pool chair. And afterwards we grabbed some tacos and took a nap. So I placed that on a quarter box the gold foiled pillow sticker is from Artbox Stickers. 
We then went and grabbed dinner at our favorite Thai restaurant in Vegas. We pretty much always come here um, whenever we are in town. And I used this Thai food sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark the occasion. We then went and checked out the Neon Museum, which turned out to be really cool. And it was perfect because it was all outdoors. So we didn't have to like be indoors and close to people. Um, everyone could kind of spread out and it just felt a bit safer. Um, the icon that I used is from White Deer Stationery. And then at the very bottom, I had initially placed down this Today header, but I later switched it out for a washi strip instead. And on that little things, I just marked where we grabbed a midnight snack before we headed up to bed. On Wednesday, I first placed down a full box at the very bottom, and then I moved to the top and started by placing down a half box and this pack your bag sticker from Love Shira, who unfortunately is not open anymore, so you won't be able to find her lettering stickers, but I just love them, and so I always try to pull them in when I can. Um, so anyways, on Wednesday, we packed and checked out, and then we grabbed some tacos and some fried chicken before we headed out of town. The taco sticker is also from Hazel Sticker. I pulled in a lot of her food stickers this week and then underneath that I used a boba sticker from plans with the nest to mark that I grabbed some boba for our drive home on our way, we stopped by the Seven Magic Mountains, which is like this art exhibition that is right outside of Vegas. And um, it's pretty cool. It's like these tall stacks of large, colorful rocks. And it's actually really pretty and definitely a great photo op. Um, so to mark that, I used a bow icon from White Deer Stationery. After we got home, we watched a movie that night, so I used this movie marquee that I found in my leftover stash. Um, we watched the Eurovisions contest movie on Netflix. It stars Will Ferrell and Rachel McAdams, I believe, and we absolutely loved the movie. It was so funny and just, I don't know, so entertaining um, and super cute too. So I definitely would recommend that if you guys haven't watched that already. Um, but anyways, that's it for Wednesday. Then on Thursday, I first placed down a full box at the very top. Um, underneath that, I used a Today header with a quarter box and this car sticker from Right Brain Paper Co. to mark that we went and grabbed some steaks because we were doing steak night over the weekend. Um, I then took some time to read, and so I used this reading icon from Mochi Kichi. I'm working on the book Just Mercy right now, and it's really, really good, so that's another thing that I would recommend. Um, I placed down a half box at the very bottom, then I used another strip of the glitter washi with a little things to mark that we had some homemade pizza for lunch and then I did a Gilmore Girls binge so I used this gold foil TV sticker from Magic Prince Co. On the half box, I wanted to mark that the Hamilton movie came out that night. I am a huge Hamilton fan. I've seen it twice and I was supposed to see it again this summer, but it got canceled because of COVID. So I have been waiting for this movie to come out and it's like so, so amazing. The amount of talent is just incredible. So um, to mark that, I used this shocked emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. paired with these gold foiled music notes from Hazel Sticker. For Friday, I first placed down a Today header at the very top, then I used a little things with a gold foiled heart from Hazel sticker to mark that I finished Hamilton on Friday morning, then I placed down a makeup sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that I got ready that morning. Um, I was anticipating taking a new license picture at the DMV, but when I went, it was closed. I think this location was just like permanently closed because of COVID, so I used this disappointed emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that, and then um, because I didn't end up going to the DMV, I ran some errands instead and I got a ton of groceries. So I wrote those down on a checklist and used this gold foiled grocery sticker from Hazel Sticker. Underneath that, I placed down a full box and I used a workout girl from Paper Princess Plans to mark that I did a full body workout that day. And then at the very bottom, I initially put down popcorn stickers, but I switched it out for an emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. instead. And I used that to mark that I watched Hamilton again that night. I just can't resist. It's just so good. I had to rewatch it immediately. On Saturday, I first used a strip of glitter washi, and then I used a two-star checklist to mark that I went on a walk and did a social distanced picnic with some of my friends, and it was really good to see them. We had some mimosas and some brunch, um, so yeah, it was a good time. I then placed down the happy 4th of July full box underneath because Saturday was the 4th of July, and underneath that, I used a little things with this utensil icon from Hazel Sticker to mark what I had for lunch when I got home. I then watched a bunch of Gilmore Girls, so I used a TV from the Sparkly Studio to mark that, and then I placed down a half box at the very bottom because I knew what I wanted to mark in it. 
In the remaining space, I used a to-do header with um, some gold foiled check boxes from Samantha May Sticks to create a little checklist of things that we did. And that car sticker I pulled in is from Nicole Hutch Designs. On the half box, I used the steak sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that we did steak night with some of our friends. We went over to their place. They have a really nice backyard, and so we were able to all enjoy some steaks that night. And then that was pretty much it. So moving to Sunday, I first started by placing down a full box. Then underneath that, I used a quarter box with a pillow sticker from Planning Like a Pro. And because it was empty inside, I decided to use a little icon from Chic Chic Designs just to add a little sparkle. And I used that to Mark sleeping in on Sunday morning. We then did some cleaning. So I pulled in the spray bottle from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. And then I used a half box to mark that I did another social distance picnic with some other friends to celebrate my birthday, which was the following day. And it was really good to see them because they don't live close by and I haven't seen them since before quarantine. So it was really nice getting to get together and enjoy some food and just have a picnic outdoors. Um, both the sunglasses and the heart icon are from Hazel Sticker. After the picnic, I needed a nap because I had quite a few beers. Um, so I used this sleeping mask sticker from Artbox Stickers. And then pretty much the end of the night, we just chilled out. We started to plan out a trip that we were taking the following week. And um, that book hotel sticker is from Love Shira. I also added a few deco pieces because there was some empty space. And one of them actually went off the page. So you see me trimming it down. Um, but I ended up deciding to trim it to where all the other boxes line up. I just just felt like that looked a little better and a little more clean and that was pretty much it for this week so I go back to my sidebar and fill in all my workouts my happy moments and my dinners once I'm done with all that, I decided I wanted to use the weekend banner that came with the kit because I think it's so cute, but I didn't really have space for it in my spread. So I ended up lifting up the date covers on Saturday and Sunday and layering the weekend banner on top. Now I'm just showing you these stickers that I have left in this kit. I definitely use quite a bit um, because I don't really have a lot of leftover stickers in these colors. So I definitely had to pull in from the kit as much as I could. And now I'm just doing a Viv Wiggle to show you guys the foiling that I pulled in. I didn't pull in very much for this week. I wanted to keep it more on the minimal side. And now I'm doing a walkthrough so you guys can see the spread a little bit better overall. And with that said, um, that concludes my very first spread in my new recollections planner. Um, um, this actually felt a lot more comfortable and a lot more natural than I was anticipating. I think because the format is so similar to the Erin Condren, um, and I forgot to mention it, but I did white out a few times. I don't know if you guys noticed, and um, it definitely isn't the same color as the paper, but I feel like it was okay because I generally try to use stickers on top and below it so that um, you just can't really tell quite as much that there's white out there. I don't know if that makes sense, and I totally forgot to mention it when we were there but basically it wasn't as much of a problem as I was anticipating so I'm really really glad about that but yeah overall I really really like how this turned out um, this is actually my very first time getting to do a patriotic 4th of July spread because usually 4th of July falls on the same week as my birthday so I always end up doing a birthday spread for this week and yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this please let me know what you think about this new planner um, if you have any comments or suggestions or questions anything like that um, thank you guys so so much for watching as usual and i will talk to you guys next time bye